Now that we've discovered some devices that are online, let's pick one and find out what ports are open on it. So for example, to scan the 192.168.1.103 IP address for all open TCP ports, we can run the following scan, which is sudo nmap p dash dash min dash rate 10,000. And then we're going to save the output of the scans to scans nmap all TCP. And then at the very end, we specified the IP address that we're scanning. The dash p dash flag is going to scan every one of those 65,535 TCP ports against the device. If we do not specify the dash p flag, we would then scan the top 1,000 most common ports which are not the first 1,000 ports. If we want to specify specific ports to scan, we can do dash P and then the ports we want to scan separated by commas. For example, if we only wanted to scan port 22, port 80, port 443, and port 445, we could do this to scan just those four ports. And we can also use a dash in between ports to specify a range of ports that we want to scan. So for example, if we wanted to scan ports 1 through 100, we could do dash P 1 dash 100. For now, let's scan every single TCP port against 192.168.1.103 to see what's open. And as you can see, we quickly found many TCP ports that are open on this 192.168.1.103 server, which, spoiler alert, is an instance of Metasploitable 2. The min-rate flag is going to set the number of packets that we'll be sending simultaneously, so setting the minimum rate to 10,000 will go through all of the ports very quickly. But it will also be very noisy, which means if we were trying to be stealthy, this would quickly give us away. Setting a lower min rate will help us stay unnoticed and appear more like regular network traffic, but it will also make the scans take much longer. 